All right, get it, guys. How the bloody hell are we all? Um, I've got to try and lose my stuff here. Got some more donuts on the go. Some more Joker, Joker donuts. Ugh, let's move these over here. Right, so got some new toys. One of them I ordered in, which arrived today, and I started to put it a little bit in its case um, before I went into work. Also got in a new that I thought it'd be a bit of fun to play around with, or we could play around with. This is a uh, bug detector, wireless listening and hidden camera. Um, yeah, so anywhere that could have you know hidden microphones, hidden cameras, um, and stuff like that. Any wireless ones, any other cameras. It uses red lights on the back here, um, which will flash. You look through the special design lens in here. And they'll actually, the camera lens will actually glow bright. Um, you know, lights, cameras that don't have infrared, like the ones that are hidden in USBs or in the, uh, you know, smoke detectors and stuff like that. If you look at them from all the angles around with this, you know, you'll be able to see if there's actually a little hidden USB or hidden camera in there, I should say. So, going to have a bit of fun with that. And that's going to my new EDC kit that I'm working on. But that's not what I'm working on right now. So, my old deauthor, which is literally, I'm going to put it over here. Here it is. Um, my old monster deauthor. I accidentally smashed the screen on it, so it no longer works. Um, yeah, accidentally smashed it, trying to put it in a 3D printed case, and I was make banging it around and accidentally pushed it the wrong way and smashed the screen so the screen no longer works uh, which is a bit of a downside i love my freaking the author so i bought another one so i bought another the author which just arrived today um as i said i started putting it in this case um or started putting it together um so I ended up 3D printing another case, and I actually painted this. I got a bit, well, wanted to have a bit of fun, and I wanted to see if I could uh, 3D or paint the 3D printed plastic. So I did a bit of uh, purpley, silvery, blacky mix, uh, camo kind of stuff on the uh, gold silk PLA. Coming up pretty freaking sweet. And while I was I had layers of clear coat drying, you can probably see little bits of it. Like here, I actually sprinkled over some of the glow in the dark powder um, so that once it's actually lit up, if I sit it here for a second and I quickly flick off all these lights for a split second by going bang, bang, and bang, and turn off this light for a second and bring it up. Uh, you can kind of see little bits of it. It glows more. I can actually see it better. Um, personally, in like real life, compared to what you can actually see. You can kind of see bits of it. There you go, on camera. But it looks a lot brighter in real life. Uh, and I just realised I've got little bits of glow on the dark stuff stuck to my um, table here. It's glowing. Let's get these lights back on. There we go. Um, shit everywhere. Uh, and the last two lights. Bump. Come on, why isn't that turning on? Why isn't my light turning on? So, yeah, it actually glows better in real life. It looks really sweet. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, there's some photos of it up on there. So, I started putting the new The Author Monster, this is the version 6, into this case that I 3D printed. Um, it doesn't go in all the way, but I kind of like it like that anyway. You can still see some of the internals, still see the battery and stuff like that. 
Um, the other thing I ordered, which I just contacted them because they sent the wrong bloody one. I also ordered from a different company, and I've still got parts in here. Um, a ESP32 board, which came with a little extendable aerial, well, uh, add-on on aerial. But the one they sent me, so this is like a signal booster board um, and stuff like that, which has Wi-Fi, Bluetooth. Uh, let me get out, it's stuck on the... Um, so I ordered one of these little computer boards. Um, and it's meant to be able to plug in a extendable, well this, not an extendable, but this aerial and cable was actually meant to plug into this. But the one they sent me, because they sent me the wrong freaking one, has a built-in aerial, which you can see this black bit just here is actually the built-in aerial. And it doesn't have the connector for it, um, for the external aerial. So I've contacted and now I've got to wait here back. So they sent me the wrong bloody one. So I'm going to hold on to this at the moment. So, yeah, a bit of a pain in the butt, I have to admit. Um, the other thing I've done is I've also ordered, now, these the authors, the monsters, they're bloody good. I love the monster, I really do. And they come with a 8 dB aerial on them. Well, one that you plug in, um, which is, let's pull out the rest of the stuff here that I need. Just empty all this extra stuff out. So I run the 18650 battery, which is the big battery. I can recharge it um, in my one of these. Let's make sure, yeah, we're on camera. Um, so I don't have to worry about the extra battery powered device parts. That can go back in the bag because I don't need them. As I was saying, I don't run, I run the 18650 battery. More power, last longer, um, which is one of these bad boys. Uh, so, yeah, I've got that installed in the bottom, so I don't have to worry about that part. And as I say, they come with a 8dB aerial, which, you know, kind of sticks on the side. And don't get me wrong, it's a bloody good aerial. The only thing, they give you an 8dB aerial, but then you have to actually modify your de by oh, that shit everywhere. Um, desoldering a resistor, which is right next to the connector. So there's a little right there. That little black one you can see right at the tip there. That has to be desoldered and removed in order for you get to get the maximum efficiency out of your aerial for your deauthor. Uh, and the 8dB one isn't too bad. But I actually went online on eBay and I'm waiting for it to arrive. Hopefully sometime, to, well, hopefully tomorrow or sometime this week. Um, I am waiting for a 18dB aerial. So kind of like this, but a little bit bigger and wider. But an 18dB aerial. So I'll get a massive amount of range, theoretically. Um, more than the 8dB. So the 8dB, I'm going to keep it. I'm going to have a couple of different aerials on hand. Um, so like with CBs or UHF radios, the higher the dB, the greater the distance it covers. But in rocky areas, this you know, if you have a 3dB and you're in a very mountainy area, a 3dB puts out a signal, for example, say this fat. Um, which, you know, is great for very rocky areas and stuff like that. Whereas the higher the dB, instead of having big fat waves that go out, it kind of gets smaller and smaller, so it actually pushes them out faster and further, but they the waves get smaller and smaller. Um, so an 18 dB aerial, you know, I'll have a greater range, but it may miss some of the stations up close. Theoretically, well, that's what, you know, all the diagrams and everything says. So that's why I'm going to keep on hand... A couple of other spare little aerials that I can kind of switch very carefully because you don't want to go fucking up 
the uh, pin in here that when you actually put the aerials in. So I've got a ex an aerial adapter here, just like this one here. I've got one pre-installed into the case um, with the wiring coming up here, sitting under there ready to go so that I can actually plug that into the aerial once I put the other, and then put all the other stuff on. But first, I've got to desolder this little resistor. And when I was at the shop today, I picked up, so I can go in my EDC bag, this little USB powered solder. Um, fully functioning USB powered soldering iron, small and compact for portability, rapid heat up and instant recovery. Tip can be replaced easily. Combination of heating element and soldering tip. Um, press switch. 15 bucks I paid for this, or $14.95. Um, made in China, so who knows how good it is. 8 watts of power. Input USB 5 watts. Heating up in less than 15 seconds, cooling down less than 30 seconds. We'll see how it goes to dissolve this anyway. Then I can carry it in my EDC bag. Um, so I am going to use this aerial as well. So this aerial will actually, for the moment, the one that comes with my uh, ESP32 board. I'm just going to use this. as my uh, aerial. So how cool does that play a little massive aerial um, on my deauthor? And in this case, it just looks friggin' sweet. So I'll put the clear cover over the top as well and screw all that in, but we'll get to that. First things first, I've got to... The other thing I always carry in my EDC bag is my big power pack for batteries in my phone. I use it to recharge my phone when I'm at work and stuff like that. Or power stuff that I need to. So let's take this out. She doesn't look too bad actually. Uh, we'll see how she goes. It's always handy to have a soldering on. I've got a big, big bloody thing in the um, drawers over there. But I wanted something that's small and portable. That can fit literally in my EDC bag which I carry every day. Everywhere I go. So I must go in the bottom there like that. Take that plastic cover off. She looks nice. Plug them into here. I have power. Let's just hope it doesn't blow up. Got a blue light. Got a blue light going. Oh, smell that. That's... So let me very carefully, because I'm half blind here. Try and... Remove this resistor. carefully because I don't want to remove anything else that I shouldn't be. Make sure that's all clear. Yep, so I've now removed the resistor from out of that board. Um, so now I'll have optimal. That's actually not too bloody bad. I like that. So cool down for a minute. Before I go putting that cover back on. Cool. So now I can actually take. This cable out. Now, I don't want to bend this pin, and that's why I'm going to keep 
couple of aerials and just be careful when I use them um, and stuff that I don't bend the pins when I take them out and put them in. It's very carefully. So this will also be going in my EDC bag um, that I carry every single day. And I will also be, because I'm waiting for it, has been built um, a Punagotchi is on the way. There we go, from the States. So I have that on the way as well. Um, and that can go, that area will go on my uh, ESP32 if they send the correct one. When they send the correct one. Also keep that ATB aerial. They can go in a case and go in my EDC bag as well. Always pays to have a couple of different aerials. Um, so yeah, I've got a Punagotchi on the way and also um, the guy that's building it for me from Lock Camp, who's running that, who I've um, sponsored, is also making what he calls a Wi-Fi armadillo. So I'm going to have some cool technical, sh well, technology shit to uh, share with you because... I've kind of gone past Wi-Fi, uh, past basics of lock sport, which is a uh, lock picking and everything. Um, I've kind of gone into I don't even know what I'd call myself now. It's like a security tester. Um, yeah, I'm diving now into the realms of hacking, um, computer hacking, Wi-Fi hacking, um, and that kind of stuff as well um not just picking locks i kind of dive into everything else rfid and yeah i've kind of just gone crazy um and also i bought my son the author for christmas so i want to teach him all about it and how to use them and very very strict controls over it though <laughs> i won't <laughs> i won't be letting him um just go around deauthorizing everything. Doing the wrong thing. Oh, I'll put this case on top. But I'll actually carry a deauthor on me every day. My watch actually found it. Um, I lost it and then found it. I thought I dropped it out in front of work. Turns out when I come home and I've had to grab something off the top of the fridge, I sat up there instead. Um, then yeah, that was good because they're like a hundred and odd dollars now for a watch, over a hundred bucks for a watch. So, geez, I'll be able to do some awesome beacon attacks with a bigger aerial and a greater distance. Put out fake Wi-Fi signals with the SSIDs, like my undercover police vehicle. Let me show you fork and pork. <laughs> Put this up here, tighten these up. Make sure everything's all nice and rinky-dink. Double check the screws in the back, because I did do that when I was sitting in the car. There you go, my monster D-Author. How sick does that bloody look? Alright, let's turn him on. Make sure I've got power. Ooh, look at that. It's going to scan. Alright, how many have I found? Whoa! Jesus Christ. 14. Normally here, with the normal aerial... Jeez. Normally with the 8 dB aerial, I don't get that many. Is that 14? Yeah, I'm going to have to go through and um, change all them. Let's very carefully, if I disconnect that aerial, let's plug the 8 dB in. And see if it picks up 14. Because I'm not sure actually what aerial came. 
with that ESP32 too. So I'm waiting for that, yeah, 18 dB aerial. Come on. There we go. Let's quickly plug this one in. Probably would have been easier if I took that bloody clear case off. The cover. Just spin it out. Just one screw in. We just plug this one in. There might even be a dB aerial on here. I have no idea. It didn't say. Come on. Come on, why don't you want to go on? Shit. the old area. That comes off easier. That new one's a bit tight. Right, so that's got an 8 dB aerial on it now. Let's have a look how many it finds. Scanning. Five. <laughs> so that shows you the difference. Shows you the difference an aerial makes um, in this area here where I am, anyway. But I'll definitely keep that one on hand just in case I need an 8 dB aerial. But the bigger the, sometimes the bigger the better. So pop that one back on like that, and pop this case back on. Now I'm going to have some fun because I now have to go through and change all my SSIDs. But, there you go. It's got like two reviews in one today. Um, well, not reviews, but two things I get to test out. The deauthor. Hopefully, once the 18 dB aerial comes in, we can have a bit of fun and really test that. Um, see how many that one picks up. Um, but got to, yeah, nice little USB powered soldering iron that works nicely. I'm bloody wrapped with that. Takes a little bit to heat up to enough to do this. 
I know I have some new projects of going that I'll have to review for you, but there we go. My uh, new new monster the author version six with a brand new screen because I'll smash the other one. And we'll go back to this one. Twenty APIs now. So it just goes to show you this aerial isn't too bad. Um, I'm still going to can't wait for the 18 DB find out how many I'll bloody pick up with that shit. But there we go. My new case that glows in the dark. Even though you can't really see it on the video. Um, let's have some fun. Oh, she just reset itself. I didn't click that. Gonna have to fix the clock. Nine forty nine. No, it's not nine forty nine. So have a look how many packets this picks up. Whoa! Picks up way more packets than the old. All right, I'm gonna have so much fun with this, <laughs> as always. But anyway, there we go. This is going to go into my EDC bag um, that I carry every day, and I'll be using this quite a bit. I just love sitting there watching all the data flying around, all the packets. So, sweet. I am bloody happy. Um, I'll let you know. I'll keep you up to date how I go with the new, if I hear back about the, um, the proper ESP32 that I bought. Um, so this is a Wi-Fi signal booster. We'll see how we go. Might be able to incorporate it into something. I'll do something fun with it. Um, but yeah, nice new little soldering iron, which I'm quite happy with. USB powered. That can go in my EDC bag. That can go in the bin. Since she is boosted. Don't know what I'm to do with that 8db aerial. I might do something with it. Might keep that brand new one as a spare. Stick this onto something and use this one as a. Yeah, that might work. All right. I'm at board of you. Just, oh, I've bought not bought of you. I've bought just enough um, for 27 minutes. Me playing around with this and this and that. So. Check out all the blade links in the description down below. Don't forget to give a thumbs up. You really, I really do appreciate it. I'll let you know how the hacking stuff goes with this. Um, I'll test this bad boy out. And then we'll do some uh, or video on this little bug finder. It's like some spy age shit. <laughs> and I'll let you know, keep us up to date with you know everything else that I've got coming in in the way of electronics and hacking equipment. So, till next time, don't forget, like, share, subscribe. Check out the website, dalp.com.au. Contact me in any of the social medias, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Email me at darkartslockpicking at gmail.com or through the website. You can contact me through there. Stay safe. Have a bloody good one. I'll see you all soon.